Adele Sakwe. I'm the founder and managing director of the Newly Juice Company. It's a growing brand right here in Nigeria that's focused on using locally grown fresh produce, fruits and vegetables to create nourishing, um, nutritious beverages, all natural. We also have a, a chain of fast casual restaurants in Abuja and Lagos where we offer customers a farm to table menu that's everything from juices, smoothies and everything just to really ensure that we're inspiring a healthier and happier generation. Okay, I must be honest, I don't really have a skincare routine per se. Um, I just really believe in obviously washing and cleansing when I can and moisturizing but I can't say that I have specific products or things that I use on a daily basis. I think for me really, I'm very big on what you do from within and how you treat your body from the inside and it totally reflects on the skin. So I'm very deliberate about what I eat, what I put into my body um, to ensure that I do have better skin and better health in general. When I'm traveling, yes, and I'm in the sun, in the beach. I think ultimately you hear the phrase, you are what you eat, right? And I think people need to um, adopt that and think about that more so that they're more deliberate and intentional about what they put in. Um, I started my company, the Newly Juice Company. I mentioned how we're very focused on farm to table and natural products, fresh products, as opposed to process. We really have to use what we have naturally. There's a reason God put us in certain places and he put certain plants um, there for us and it's just for our taking. Um, so I think the more we can use what we have that's readily available on the soil that has been giving up to us and that we're so blessed to have, the better we can be as a people. Newly, Newly is actually coined from the Igbo name from Eastern Nigeria that is Anwili which means happiness or joy. So really we're inspiring a healthier and happier generation. We want people to try our products, interact with the Moody Champ, um, feel us, hear us, see us, taste us, and feel happy. And we just want to inspire a generation of Nigerians, of Africans, of the world um, to be better to themselves through what they eat and what they drink. So that's really where Newly comes from. It's the core of our ethos. The first drink, we had a, the signature collection, which includes the drink I just spoke about. There were six juices, which had the Simple Life, Tropical Heat, which has papa in it and peppers. We have That Morning Cake, which, which has lettuce, um, lemon in it and apples. So I think I can't really say which one was the first, but I, I would lean towards the Simple Life because it was nice and sweet. <laughs> and I played around with that a lot because we wanted to just have a good blend that allowed people to say, oh really, am I drinking lettuce? Oh my gosh, no. So let's have stuff that ease them into the process. For the meal, I do remember what the first was, which is our famous Nanini wraps, which uses a fresh naan bread, which is like the Indian style of baking the bread. We make it ourselves in the oven and we put in the chicken tikka, um, which we make ourselves as well, and lettuce, carrots, um, sweet corn. And I remember how that happened. I was a big buyer of naan with the merg tikka when I lived in Abuja from a specific Indian restaurant. But I was also into my salads, and I had made a salad that had like lettuce, carrots, sweet corn, dashes of cranberry and walnuts. And I had a little bit of the mix left one day and I was hungry. I got back from work and I saw remaining naan bread. I saw this. I was like, huh, interesting. What if I, why do we always have to use Lebanese bread or, you know, whatever? So I said, what if I put this inside, the remaining of this chicken? And I like toasted stuff. So I was like, I have a panini maker. Let's toast it up and see. But I did spread some mayo on it to give it some creaminess. Um, and and it was whoa when i took a bite and i think that whoa reaction is still what people get today when they try a nanini for the first time so yep that was maybe the first great question i've never had to think about that yeah <laughs> one of our juices the simple life which has carrot 
um, lemon, pineapple, um, and ginger in it. Specifically on the bottle, we say it helps for glowing skin because carrots are really good to improve your skin condition and you just radiate. Um, so the more people have that, I believe, yes, that's one that I would deliberately recommend to someone if they want to do better with their skin. And I should say in general, even the people, who, the newly preppers and pressers who make our juices every day, the lovely juices that we have, um, many of them, let's say they, they make the fresh juice, they squeeze, they fill up all the bottles and they're like little remnants. They typically put it in their own bottles and, and drink and, and take home. So they live a life that's constantly around our juices. And I get so many testimonies from them of how their skin cleared, they used to have a lot of spots, and I see it as well. And they feel better, and they look better. So I think, um, without a doubt, it's, it's what we're doing and what we're consuming that really. Being an entrepreneur, in general, is one of the toughest jobs in the world. <laughs> and I tell people that being an entrepreneur in Nigeria <laughs> is on another level. Toughest, tougher times 10, 20, whatever, <laughs> whatever multiple you want. Um, so the toughest thing, I'll start with that, is, is it's in, in the context here, it's really about, it's in a big way, it's about, you're, you're, you're only as good as your team. Your business is only as good as who works with you and who helps you and who sees the vision and, and helps to execute that vision in the way you foresee. So being able to hire people, the right people, being able to train, to motivate them, to get them to, in our case, deliver high, the highest quality every single time, consistently, um, is maybe one of the diff most difficult things because I can't, we have five stores now, and I can't be in five stores every single minute of the day. So I depend on the amazing folks who work here to deliver on our vision and the ethos of Muni to truly inspire a healthy and happier generation. So I think that really is tough because it's not for the faint heart, it's a constant struggle. <laughs> yes, many times. Oh yes, I think I've even shared it on my social media page. There was a specific day I just put up a post. I didn't know, you know, when you, I didn't even have anyone to talk to that I just took to social media. Went to text Graham and wrote, I am tired. Can I, maybe I should just go back into paid employment. <laughs> Woo! That day, I think my team had run out of chicken. They hadn't reordered and it's one of our best sellers, the chicken wrap. And, and I'm just like, this is what I say all the time. Why do you guys, I can't pay your salaries if you don't ensure that people are buying. And so I think that day I was just stressed out. I think I got over 50 comments. That's on the page and then direct messages. Another 20 of people just saying, Ada hanging there, you know, Ada, you can do this. You're, you're inspiring a few of us out there, so please don't quit if you do, how do you? So that really keeps me going, you know? Um, it really keeps me going, and I felt so much better knowing that there are people rooting for you. Today I'm, I have a 7 p.m. spa appointment for a massage, yes. <laughs> That's how I manage my stress. I exercise a lot. Um, especially in the last year or so, but it's been off and on. But um, I, I get up, I try to do runs. You know, today I was on the you know, outside running. Uh, I, I feel so much better, and I, I, I try to tell people, yes, a big part, maybe 80% is what you eat, but do try to be active. <laughs> from within and when I say within it's not just talking about what you eat and it's what you it's what you what's in your mind 
it's how you think it's their state of being at any point in time because that shows there are a number of them but one that comes to mind is oprah i don't talk about her much um, and i know recently she's been in the news but i love her in terms of just how she emanates that beauty in terms of the different definition of how i see it she's herself and it comes from within she lives for herself for her own peace of mind she's very deliberate about her what she puts into herself what she surrounds and who she surrounds herself with what she's consuming and her state of mind wash off your makeup don't sleep with any foundation on you wash it off and then moisturize 